This was just meant to be like another question and answer video, but no, because the first question I got was like, oh, what's your opinion on this whole Ashley has changed thingy? And then I was thinking about it and I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to use a whole video to answer this question because there's so much stuff I have to say about Ashley's changed. Right, I think <coughs> there are a few concerns that people have about Ashley and him changing. Um, one of these was that he was going out and getting drunk all the time and all of this but I think even though back then everyone was getting overly hyped up about that it's sort of chill now and I'm not going to talk about that again because I don't think anyone thinks about that side of the whole story now. Um, I think most of the problems that people have at the moment are based on Twitter. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm not very impressed with Twitter at the moment. It's not that I don't love you all because of course I do love you all, all of you on Twitter, but I feel like everyone needs to, I don't know, fucking meditate or something and just chill severely, relax. Um, I don't know what it is at the moment, but I, th I think everyone's just majorly highly strong because the TV show's going to come out soon and everyone's like, oh, I don't know what's going to happen. Are there going to be new fans? What are they going to be like? I bet they're all going to be idiots and all of this. Um, but I don't think we need to worry about that right now. Um, we have been worrying about it for a long time, but now because it's closer to it actually happening, everyone going crazy about it and I think we don't need to worry about that at all I don't think it's going to be a problem and if it is a problem we, we deal with it as it comes to us so I think basically at the moment everyone is like oh my god it's our last chance to get like a follow or a tweet off of any of the boys and all of this because they're going to explode into fame and it's all going to go wrong from here um maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit I think I am but still you get the idea and now everyone is saying that Ashley never tweets fans and he never follows fans. But if you think about it, I think all of TMB have just been tweeting less in general and that makes sense because they've got a tour to organise, they've got a TV show to prepare for and they've got an album coming out and they've been doing all stuff with Radio 1 and everything like that. So, you know, that they probably have less time to tweet. That They can't spend their whole lives on the internet. I know we as fangirls spend our whole lives on the internet but they can't do that because they've got other things to do and all these other things that they have to do is at the end of the day for us. They're doing everything that they do for us. So in a way we should be grateful if there's a day where they haven't tweeted you know or they go a couple of days without tweeting then just be pacified by the fact that they're out there doing stuff, writing songs or whatever and mostly for our benefit, they're doing stuff for our benefit. So, don't worry about that. Also, also, everyone, like, is so desperate for a tweet. I mean, obviously, I'm desperate for a tweet off of one of them. Obviously. I love them to bits. But, spamming is not the way to do it. It's really not. Spamming is never a good thing. I know sometimes it does work, most of the time it does work, but I just don't feel like it's the best way to go about it. And if you think about it, the Midnight Beast, their interactions must be alive non-stop. So when they actually do come online, their interactions just become like an avalanche of tweets and everything coming in. Um, because people spam them as soon as they come online. Spam them just to get a tweet and or a follow. And I think like whenever one of them comes online, I personally, I will only tweet them once or twice because I think that... If I tweet them less, other people have more of a chance of getting a tweet off of them. And I think it really does make sense. I mean, if we all tweeted them, like, once or twice when they came online, then we'd all have a greater chance of being tweeted back. Because there'd be less stuff to go through, you know? So, when people complain about not getting tweets off of them, it's like, to be fair, they get a lot of people who want to tweet them. They can't please everyone. It's really hard. I'm assuming. It's really hard anyway. Um, okay, then we have the concern about Ashley and his models. He doesn't tweet fans, but he tweets his models and he follows all his models and all of this. So what? Seriously, so what? Okay, Ashley Neil Horn is a lad, okay? He's an absolute lad. 
not only is he an absolute lad, he's also a fit lad. Let's face it, he's one of them people who is just universally acknowledged as being fit. Even if you're not a fan of the Midnight Beast, you will still recognise, yes, he is a fit guy. All of our mums and our nans, whether they admit it or not, have a little thing for Ashley because he's just one of them people. He's fit. He knows he's fit, obviously. It's clear he knows he's fit. If you were Ashley, you'd know you were fit, okay? Now, also, if you were Ashley, obviously you're going to follow a load of models and actresses who are also fit. I mean, it would be wrong to deny your good looks that favour, wouldn't it? Come on. It's, it's normal. I'm pleased that he's following all these models and actresses. I'm pleased about it, okay? And I think it's way more appropriate for him to be following loads of models and actresses around his age rather than loads of underage girls who are convinced that they're in love with him. So, at least we know he's not a paedophile, right? And that's always a thing to, to look up to. It's appropriate. I'm glad he's doing it. I'm, I feel happy for him. It's good. And I don't see the problem with it, so just calm down about that, okay? Also, I think Ashley is one of them people who... This is going to be really hard to explain, but I just don't feel like he comes across well in text, if that makes sense. Like... When you see him in their videos and when they do interviews and like when they did the Radio 1 takeover, when you hear him talking, he's really, really charming and he's really sweet and he's really funny and he's, he's just a cool guy. We all love him. But I feel like a lot of the time when he tweets, his tweets are misunderstood or misinterpreted because Ashley's one of them people who it's easier to get him if you, you can hear him saying it, if that makes any sense at all. I mean, he's got like little Ashley-isms and he's got like a certain tone and way about him that doesn't come across well through tweets and things like that. Like, it just doesn't pick up. Like, I think sometimes where he's joking, it can be misinterpreted as him being arrogant or up himself, stuff like that. I just think he's one of them people that, you know, I can't explain it that well. But I know what I'm talking about, and I'm sure you do know what I'm talking about. And if I'm honest, when I went to meet them, when I went to meet the Midnight Beast, just based on Ashley's tweets, I thought he would be the least approachable out of all of them. And as it happens, I was so, so, so wrong. I mean, they were all lovely. Don't get me wrong. They were all nice. And Drew was really polite and sweet. And you could have a genuine conversation with him. And Stefan was really cool. You know how Stefan is. Interacting with the fans well and all of that. But then there was just something about Ashley. That he, he was just so genuine. I mean, the others were, I'm not trying to say the others were faking, <laughs> but, like, I don't know. I think with, with Stefan and Drew, there was a certain kind of professionalism there. But then with Ashley, he was just like, yeah, what the hell? And the way he interacted and reacted to the fans, it was, it was amazing. Like, I can't explain it to you. You had to be there. But just the look on his face, like when, when I went up there with my book and all of this, <coughs> and then I went over to... Drew and we had a bit of banter and then me and Stefan had a little bit of banter but then Ashley it was just like he didn't even need to say anything it was just the look on his face just showed how pleased and almost surprised he was that like everyone was there to support them and everything and it was uh, one of the moments I'll never forget like he just gave me the most genuine amazing smile I've ever seen in my life and it was it was literally amazing I was speechless just looking at him and looking at how happy he was so, I don't think that he's a dick, like some people say he is, because he's really not. I don't feel like, anyway. And I, he, I think he does appreciate fans. I don't think fame is getting to his head at all. Um, I'd just like to remind you all as well that their mums are very sort of involved with what they do, in a way. And... I don't think for one second that their mums are going to let fame get to their head. 
right? They've, they've got their mums there. Their mums are cool. Their mums know what they're doing. Their mums are going to keep them under control. It's all fine. Just rely on their mums. If you can't have faith in the boys, have faith in their mums. It will be fine. Um, so no, I don't think Ashley's changed. Well, maybe a little bit. I mean, everyone has to change a little bit as life goes on. But I don't think he's changed in a major way. And I don't think he's changed for the worse. I think he's brilliant. I think he's amazing. I love him to bits. I love all of them to bits. And I don't think we have anything to worry about. I think we all just need to, as I said, meditate for a moment. Calm down. The midnight beasts are cool. We're cool. It, it will all be cool. And let's chill, okay? I love the midnight beast. I love Ashley, I love Stefan, I love Drew, and I love all of your, the fans, so, you know, it's cool. Chill, just for a bit, okay? Stress later, when we need to stress, we don't need to at the moment. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on Twitter. As long as you're chill, then we'll get along fine, okay? Bye!